Um, I'm picking up where I left off in my uh, um, sky tutorial, uh, where I was using a plane as a um, as a background. Now, uh, this really doesn't prove to be very effective if um, you'll want to rotate the camera or move your uh, object about, because you'll sooner or later come to the end of the plane and you'll just see that it's um, not a proper sky. Now we can um, do a lot of things uh, to make a sky and an alternative way is if I just get rid of the uh, the background I have now okay we're back into our uh, normal viewport alright if I just uh, zoom out on each um, viewport here right what, what I'm going to do is create a sphere okay That's actually if I zoom out a bit more because we've got a lot of room for this because it's going to need to be a very big sphere um, right, go into our top viewport and bring it out as big as you can make it. Okay, uh, we, we can add some more segments. I'm going to add about 50. Okay, now uh, what we want to do is um, any of the uh, viewports, right click the um, sphere and convert to editable mesh. Okay. Then we want to click on this bit here, and we want to highlight all of these red ones and delete them because we only want the top half of the sphere. Okay, click it again. That's it. It's no longer being edited, and bring it down slightly and cover your um, your scene. Now, if I just move out even more can see that it doesn't cover it properly, you can still see the ground down here. Um, so what we need to do, oh, I've noticed I've got a bit more down here but we'll just ignore that for the moment. Um, anyway, is um, scale the sphere up, okay, and then make it longer and wider. Okay, the most important one to do is to make it taller really, make a kind of dome sort of shape. Okay, let's bring this right down. Okay, now it's looking quite dark in here. Okay, so um, what we need to do is uh, give it some materials. Now, there's a, a number of different ways we can do this. Now, if you press your M key, okay, you can um, select this uh, one that we've already got in here from our previous tutorial, the sky here, and we can just apply it. Okay and make it two sided as well just in case okay right now what we end up with um, is um, basically a 3D dome um, that has a nice uh, skyline to it problem is that if the um, image is made too big if I render this uh, you'll find that it can look quite distorted alright so 800 by 600, okay, render. As you can see, it's very, very grainy. Uh, it doesn't look very good at all. So uh, sometimes images aren't always the best way to go about this. Um, there is another alternative though. Now, if we press um, M to go into our uh, material editor, uh, select uh, an empty sphere here, uh, go into your diffuse color um, button here in your maps, you'll find it down here. Okay, uh, click that, and you can click your gradient ramp here. All right. Okay. Now, what you'd need to do here is uh, set three different tones. Um, so you're going to have a let's have a look. Double click. You have a kind of a darkish blue. All right. Close the middle one. Double click. We're going to make it a bit more brighter, and the end one, we're going to do the same again. So basically we have a nice gradient blue here, alright, then we go up to the top by clicking on this button here, set the colour, let's move this up a bit more, okay and apply it to our sphere. Okay, I'll make it double sided. Now if we render this out by pressing 
F9 or going into our render settings you'll see that we have a nice kind of uh, blue radiant sky now if I just um, move back a bit okay we can see more of the detail of uh, the sphere colour change here um, if I just rotate this okay you'll see we have different shades that we created in the editor so if I just uh, render that one so you've got a nice blue sky that's not just one colour um, like I say this is without clouds so if you want to do it without clouds that's another alternative way to do it okay now if I go into our material browser click on this one maps diffuse gradient we could try it this way now this is an, another alternative way as well uh, color one I can say it's going to be a quite a strong blue a bit too strong number two is going to be a brighter blue and number three is going to be a very bright blue okay now if we go up to the top here again bring this up put it onto our um, sphere let's bring this down a little bit more okay make it two-sided and try it again so like I say if you, if you don't click the two-sided it won't work and there we go we have a different type of uh, gradient blue now as you can see I've uh, rotated the, um, the sphere here so if I just move it back to its normal size normal position rather scale this down okay and bring it back up again right let's have a look at it now if, actually if I just move the camera slightly there we go render that So you got you got yourself another blue, and that's basically it, really. Um, like I say, if uh, you want to add clouds into this, uh, you can use volumetric clouds, um, or you can just use the image that I showed you to begin with. Um, however, if you make the image too big, it will look distorted. Okay, but um, this is just an, a, a basic um, alternative to having a plane rather um, than nothing at all, really. Because um, with a plane, like I say, if you're moving the camera too much or you're um, aeroplane too much then you'll go out of the plane's um, point of view and you'll see the edges and the corners and it'll just and you'll just lose the effect so this is another alternative way to make a very basic sky okay so uh, my name's Dave from video-effects-universe.com uh, please visit the site um, new tutorials coming out all the time uh, please sign up to the forum and get involved and uh, hopefully I shall speak to you soon Bye.